Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Yanni Jolie. So, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a week in the life of a nail tech. Yeah, so I didn't really film an intro for this morning, mainly because I was tired, like really tired when I woke up, and I didn't feel like filming. So, you guys will just see it go straight into like my client and everything. But actually, I'm not gonna put the full that nah, I can't talk. I'm not going to put the full clip in there mainly because that's going to be a separate video, a day in life of a nail tech, where you can actually see pretty much the whole process. Um, so I'm just going to show a little clip of it, but today, Monday, I just had a client, which you'll see, and I have some packages I need to open, um, and then I have another client later this week. I have work at the salon later this week. Um, I have a nail like review to do for this company that sent me some products so yeah we'll see all of that this week I'm actually really excited about this video because it's I think it's a little something different than this the regular day in life you know it shows you more of like a wide scope of what I do in the week and stuff all this will also be including like you know school and stuff like I, I won't show that portion probably but i like fill you guys in on day-to-day -day stuff but that's basically all i did today is my client which you'll see in these next few clips and then i'll probably check back in with you guys tomorrow when i do other stuff as a nail tech and all that so yeah i think for right now you guys are just gonna see the next clip so bye guys now. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare too much. I know that I don't make things clear. Okay, hey you guys. So it's day two this is tuesday so basically i just had class all morning it's like 2 45 ish um i had class since 9 30. actually i'm not gonna lie i slept through class my 9 30 class because i was tired and then i woke up at like 12 my 12 30 class but i was barely paying attention for that one <laughs> which is bad i normally like I'm like on point but I was just really tired today and then I had class at 2 but that got canceled so now I'm just getting ready for my vaccination appointment um, which is at 4 o'clock so I'm dressed now and I'm about to go make or about to go eat and probably later I'll do some like I need to do the review for the company and then I'll probably do like some supplies unboxing so i'll check back in with you guys when i do that stuff hey you guys so i'm back and it's like later in the day it's about 10 o'clock i'm actually about to go to sleep after this because my sleep schedule been all messed up but i'm just going to like show you guys some things i got in the mail recently so one of the things is this package from this company I'm doing a review for which by the time this video is out you guys will already see review so it's just for Madam Glam so thank you Madam Glam um, I'm super excited to be doing this collab but that's not this video so yeah 
that's one of the things i already looked at what's in here actually you guys can go check out the review because like i said it'll already be out on my channel but this is what it everything came with um but like i said link will be in the description you guys go check out madam glam and everything okay well, i gotta make sure i don't show my address because you know you know i'll mess up and accidentally show y'all so what is this okay so yeah so this is stuff for um press on now what is this I don't even know. Okay, so this these are some like gold butterflies that I need for a press on nail set that like I said I'll be doing tomorrow. And then this, oh okay, this is some gel nail polish that I also need for my press on nails. So it's just four of them. They're all like neutral colors. They're by Amelie. I know I'm like butchering that name. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to say it, but I just ordered it off of Amazon. So I need to make this background all nice. Like it's just a white background. This is just my nail area, but you can't really see all of it. But I feel like I'll be too far if I put the camera back more. Oh, this big old box for this little bitty thing. So I just actually got some more acetone because I needed some more. So this is just pure acetone from amazon you know i get like literally everything from amazon so if you're ever wondering where my nail stuff is nine times out of ten it's from amazon then the last thing i got again these big boxes for like one item so yeah this is just some monomer me secret monomer i had to get some more because i got a little one so i needed to replenish it and this is my favorite monomer i've ever used even using like young nails and what else um mma acrylic powder that i didn't know i was using but shout out to one of my supporters because they told me and like commented like that's probably what it was when they watched one of my damn life of nail tech videos and i was like she's so right because i didn't even think that's what it could be but it makes so much sense now so shout out to her um but yeah that's all this in this little mini nail nail supply haul just stuff for press on nail orders and then nail tech stuff like what is this monomer and acetone and then the company review that you guys will have already seen it'll already be out on my channel um so yeah tomorrow wednesday i'll be filming the review which i'll probably include a portion of that in here and then i'll be doing press on nail orders which I did get my vaccine, my second dose of the vaccine today, so I'm going to see how I feel tomorrow, but either way, I'm probably going to still film because, you know, I got to, you know, I got to get the content or whatever. Um, and then I'm upset, y'all, because I did tell y'all earlier I had a client on Thursday, but she rescheduled for like a later date, which is fine, but I was just like, dang, so... Now I don't have a client for Thursday. And like, if you guys didn't know, I'm still in school and stuff too. So, and I work at a salon. So like, I don't have clients all the time. I can only take clients mon what, what, I have to take I can take clients Mondays and Thursdays only because of my work schedule and my class schedule. And when I say clients, I'm talking about clients at home, not clients at the salon. But yeah, typically tomorrow, Wednesdays, I would be working at the salon, but like I said, I got my second dose, so I already told them, like, if they could take me off because a lot of people have said they've gotten, like, reactions from the second dose. So, just, like, let me just take off um, as a precaution. So, normally during the week, I'd be at work on Wednesdays at the salon. It's late, and I need to go to sleep, so I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. So, bye for now. Hey guys, it's day three, Wednesday. I should be at the salon right now, but I've already requested off since I got the vaccine yesterday and I feel fine. Literally nothing's wrong. Like I just woke up with a sore arm, so we're good. But I'm glad because I need this day off because I've been tired, but I'm about to, um, what am I about to do? Probably do this review for Madam Glam. Um, I want my nails done they are just extra plain right now and i want some color to them 
So that's what I'm about to do. Well, I'm about to eat and then I'm about to do that. But y'all are going to see me start doing that review first. And then I'll do the press on nails. So I'll check back with y'all in in about like probably two seconds after this. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back looking a little different. <laughs> but um, I just did my review for Madam Glam, which I'm about to flip the camera and show you guys. I just did some swatches um, and now I'm about to do my nails. They need to be done but i guess i'm about to show you guys that process so also let me show you what i did with madam glam so yeah i just did my review for them they sent me over four different colors and not me trying to get this arranged while on camera <laughs> but yeah they sent me four different colors um like i said you guys will have already seen the review um once this video is out but i just did that so here's a little lamp and all the colors so I'm about to paint my nails with Rosy Nude, which is this color right here. So I guess you guys can watch me do that. you guys so you guys saw how my nails came out um see they're just a pink color looks kind of white on camera but i definitely underestimated like how hard it is to do gel on your dominant hand because i did this it literally looks like a two-year-old did it like you see i got gel on this hand like i don't know maybe it's because i wasn't really trying to be so precise and i didn't even use alcohol to like in a cleanup brush to try to get around it so that's probably why but I honestly just look key one of my nails painted, so I don't really care how it looks. But I promise you, I do people's nails like that. Or I don't do them like that. Like, they look fine. But um, this hand looks a lot better. This is my non-dominant hand, so looks a lot better. So anyway, I'm going to keep gel on now, probably to make sure my nails can grow out without breaking. So, yeah. Um, now, I like my little setup I got going on. Like... I feel like a like a legit nail tech. <laughs> Cause you know they be having a hat on and stuff. All my stuff over here, which it looks a hot mess, so don't worry about that. But I'll check back in with you guys 
Um, if not today, then tomorrow, Thursday. So I guess we'll see. You guys, so I'm back again because I'm actually in the middle of making these press-on nails. As you can see, well, they're actually in the machine right now, but I'm in the, in the middle of making these press-on nails. But remember how I told you guys, my one client, um, she rescheduled for a later date um, for tomorrow. Well, my other client, she just booked an appointment for tomorrow. So I still have a client for tomorrow. God is good. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that because that's on the agenda for tomorrow, Thursday. Hey y'all, so new update. Um, still Wednesday, but I turns out I have a new client today. Um, I'm doing a gel manicure and a gel pedicure, which I've said this on my channel before. I don't really do pedicures, but like if you ask, I'll do them. But um, it's my mom's friend. She's came over to get her hair done by mom by my mom since she was licensed cosmetologist and dang I'm out of breath <laughs> and she also wanted her nails and toes done since she's going out of town so it was very last minute like she asked when um, she got here so I was like okay so it turns out I'll be doing a gel manicure and a gel pedicure today last minute but that's still good it turns out I'm getting a lot more content than I thought for this week in life as a nail tech. So I hope you guys like it, okay? But I'll start filming all that when I start doing our nails, which is probably like an hour because I'm about to cook some food since I've been doing those press on nails. But yeah, I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, hey you guys. So now I'm about to get ready to do her manicure. So that's why I'm just disinfecting implements right now. Because I needed to uh, do that. And she's going to get a gel manicure and pedicure, like I said. And she's actually getting the same color put on my nails. So I thought that was nice. And then she's getting like a accent nail that's going to be sparkly. You'll see what it comes out as. So yeah, I'm about to go try to find... Oh my gosh, I'm ashy. <laughs> that's embarrassing. But I'm about to go try to find or get the stuff together for the pedicure. So I may or may not show you guys that. All right, so like I said, I'm disinfecting implements right now. I just refilled my gauze door. And I'm about to refill my alcohol and refill my acetone. So, so I actually, you guys saw earlier, I got some acetone since I was running out. And um, yeah, because it's actually really low, if you guys can see that. And then this is pretty low too, so I'm about to refill this. Now if I wrote you a love note And made you smile at every word I wrote Would that make you wanna Alright you guys, so I got all the stuff for the pedicure Found a foot pile thing Foot pedal um, Right here for the callus part The tools are disinfected And yeah so as you guys, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I always start off my clients with sanitizing their hands and then sanitizing mine as well, and then putting on gloves. And so now I'm just clipping down her nails and then you're gonna see me file them. Now I'm applying cuticle softener nails to help soften up your cuticles and then I'm going to push them back with the cuticle pusher and then you're going to see me nip off any hangnails that she had or has or any extra hangnails that she has on her skin or anything like that. And I didn't realize that 
in part of the frames my hat was in the way but you can kind of see a little bit of what I'm doing here So the reason why I clean with the gauze pad with alcohol on it after I push back the cuticles is to just remove any of that dead tissue that is on the nail so that I can fully see what I'm nipping away at. And throughout this process, you'll see that I'm constantly looking at the nails, turning the finger around to make sure I get any and every kind of hangnail or extra tissue that shouldn't be there to clean up the nail. So now I'm just buffing the nail to prepare it for the gel application. Then after that, I'm going to use another gauze pad with alcohol on it to remove the dust and also put on a nail dehydrator before I apply the gel. two layers of gel base coat and then now I'm applying two layers of the color coat and then I'm just going to apply one coat of the top coat. manicure process I didn't show it on camera but I also had her use a hand scrub um, and a hand softener that would just make her hands really soft and then off camera I applied cuticle oil and massaged her hands using lotion okay so I'm all set up for the pedicure but I'm not gonna film this part just because I've already filmed a pedicure on my channel before so if you guys want you can go in and check out that video I'm gonna link it in the description but yeah i'm about to do a gel pedicure so i'll come back with you guys when i'm done hey you guys new day here it's thursday and um last i left off was doing the pedicure or like showing you guys the beginning process i didn't film like anything after that mainly because it was late and i was tired but her toes and her nails came out really cute um but yeah so on today's agenda i have a client later today at four o'clock it's 12 right now. I've been in class since 9.30. Um, I have a class coming up at 12.30. And then a class at 2. So a client's at 4. But yeah, she's getting French tips or a French set. French tip set. So that's what we're doing today. I need to clean up 
my nail area from last night so I'll be doing that before my client um and then I probably I think I definitely need to disinfect my implements again from my client last night as well so I'll check back in with you guys later all right so my station's all cleaned up for her trust me it looked a lot worse before I cleaned it up I just didn't show you guys that portion um but yeah, I'm all ready for her. So, I don't know, I guess. I'll probably start filming when I get to like the French, t French tip part. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Hey y'all, so you might have noticed that this video footage is a little bit late but I figured I really enjoyed this video and it's better late than never right so yeah this video is coming a little later but I want to talk to you guys because I do have some more nail content coming up so in August I'm going to this nail workshop that I plan on vlogging and I'm super excited about it because it'll help me get a lot better in doing nails so I'll definitely vlog that process and then have a few more video ideas surrounding nails that I want to do like my salon experience and I don't know I guess more day in life of a nail tech videos that incorporate different things that I do. Also I want to talk to you a little bit about my this client that I'm doing now. So one I love her so much because she's one of my one of my most loyal clients. She always books with me and she always like, she's so supportive and everything. And she was even telling me I need to raise my prices because I'm not charging enough for what I do. And I was like, dang sis, you're kind of right. Well, no, like she is right, but I love her so much. Um, but yeah, so she always gets these long nails, like the double tip and like, I have nothing against long nails. Like they're actually really cute. But as a nail tech, the longer nails are a lot are a lot more work, which is good for me because it's challenging me and helping me to get better at doing the longer nails. Because I do want to be able to have like a versatile clientele, so doing the short nails as well as long, eh, as well as the long ones. And so I'm glad that she pushes me because one of the sets I did for her it was my first time I did a V cut French tip and the little diagonal cutouts and I didn't even show you guys like I didn't film it for you guys but I'm actually going to insert a picture right around here and for my first time I feel like they actually came out really cute especially since I used glow in the dark powder too on the white part and so we turned off the lights her nails were glowing in the dark it was my first time using that powder so I thought the set came out really cute but she's always pushing me which I really appreciate because a lot of my other clients they get pretty much simple designs so I'm, I'm not really able to stretch out what I can really do with doing nails if I don't practice it on a mannequin. So, shout out to her. Just wanted to say that. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between also, I actually prefer doing longer nails because you can do so much more with it than a shorter nail. Like, you can incorporate a lot more stuff into the nails. Obviously, the same stuff you do on longer nails, you can do with shorter nails, but I just feel like it looks better when you have more space for the nail to show, if that makes sense.
But I just finished her nails. They came out so cute, you guys. Like, y'all, they look great. Um, It's just a French tip, as you guys saw. But those look so good. And I use C-curve tips. Well, it's a low C-curve, but they're still C-curve. But I love them. They, <sighs> yes. But they came out good. Um, So now my nail area is kind of messy. So I'm about actually going to... um clean it up later because I'm about to eat and go to the gym. I still need to disinfect some more implements. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to come back and update you guys. Probably next time you guys see me will be tomorrow, Friday, when I'm getting ready for work at the salon. So 
hopefully I remember to vlog some there because we're gonna see I have a full day tomorrow like I'm fully booked for tomorrow um and it's always like running around back and forth but yeah I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow so bye hey guys it's a new day Friday last time you guys saw me I was getting ready to go to the gym after my client but actually I ended up cleaning out my nail area that night and disinfecting my implements so that's all ready Ugh, I'm out of breath I just walked up the steps <laughs> but I'm actually about to get ready for work I already ate breakfast I have like 20 minutes to get ready so I need to kind of hurry up um about to get ready you know wash my face wash my teeth all that get dressed and I already made my lunch for work um and then I'm about to pack my gym bag so I can go to the gym right after work. But yeah, so I just want to take you guys along with a day in the salon is like, I'm not going to be able to vlog like during my clients and stuff. Because like I said, it gets pretty busy, but I'll probably vlog like the morning, maybe closing. We'll see. Um, my first client is at 1030 and it's a gel X full set. So we'll see. Today I have a variation of like, I have a gel X full set. I have a gel polish pedicure, gel manicures, regular pedicures. I don't know. I looked at my schedule, but I have to see. I'm just, no, I'm booked until the end of the day. So I'll check back in with you guys a little later. All right. So I'm finally dressed, um, put on some lashes and that's really it. Don't mind my hair because I'm about to just put on a headband. I didn't really have time to like fix this part up here. Not to mention this wig should have been off. But I just haven't had time this week. Just I've been busy with school and work and well not work, but school and the clients and all that. But yeah. Let me show you guys the outfit in the mirror real quick. Okay, so this mirror is okay, that's not dirt. It's actually spray paint since we spray painted the outline of this. It just got on the mirror. But this is the outfit for today. We have to wear all black at my salon. So yeah, this is my outfit um and then i just have like some little booties kind of i don't always wear heels sometimes i do sometimes i don't but yeah let me stop rambling because i do have to go in like two minutes so i'll check back in with you guys when i get there hey y'all so the lighting is so bad because i'm in my car but i just got to work and um i'm not gonna go to film mainly because like they don't know i'm filming <laughs> but dang not the light going off on me hold on okay so I just got here, but some of the morning things we do before we set up for, or before we get ready for our clients and stuff, um, is like you make the barbicide trays for disinfecting our implements, um, make hot towels, fold towels, make sure the stations are good to go, like refill, acetone, alcohol, the cuticle softener, pedicure stations, manicure stations, all that. Um, but I guess I can talk to you guys all about that stuff later and like what you do throughout the day in a salon after my shift <laughs> But let me go in there because my client is gonna be here in like 10 minutes. So I'll check back with y'all It's Saturday, um, May 1st, and this is actually going to be the end of this vlog, but I did want to come back on here um, since I kind of ended it with me, like, showing a clip in the bathroom. Um, but please ignore my nose. There's, like, a huge pimple smack dab in the middle of it, and that's why it's red. So I was just going to go over, like, some of the stuff that we, I do throughout the day at the salon or, like, in the morning. So oh, this lash is throwing me. I don't care um so yeah in the morning we'll do things like well I kind of explained it a little bit earlier but we just like make sure the barbicide containers are ready for our tools um we put the tools that are already 
in the barbicide in the autoclave um fold towels make sure the stations are stocked all that good stuff get our trays ready for our first client um and then throughout the day we'll like run the autoclave constantly you know sanitizing implements um what else i don't know clean the tools put on loads of laundry like make sure the paraffin is full um make sure that our scrubs are stocked and then at the end of the day we'll just basically kind of redo those things they're just just like the main things that we do throughout the day um clean up anything that's like messy or something which we keep this lawn really clean so it's not much to do we empty the trash cans at the end of the day we take the trash out to the dumpster we um i pretty much said all the stuff that we do from what i can remember i would have like by this time i'll put in a little clips from the salon that i took like earlier when we first opened um so you guys can kind of see what it looks like after i went to the salon yesterday i just went straight to the gym so that was my day <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna actually end this video here since saturday and sunday it's really the same thing as friday because i just work at the salon all weekend so yeah I um, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I filmed so much content this week, but it was actually pretty fun. Like, filming every day and vlogging what it's like. Um, I got so much more content than I thought, so this was the perfect week to do it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you made it to this part, like, comment a whale emoji, okay? Comment a whale emoji because... That's how I'm gonna know, like, you're a real one for staying this long. I think that's it. Make sure you guys follow my social medias. They're in the description as well as on the screen. If you guys want to get you some bomb lashes um, from YJ Essentials, this is my packaging. Don't mind how it looks in here because these are my own personal lashes. So I kind of just threw them in here. But if you guys want to get you a pair, go ahead and check out the website. Also, um, I make press on nails. So you want to order those just dm me or just go to my business page yg essentials and you'll see some of the sets i've done so far but make sure you guys follow my nail page yj nails um i do post on there from time to time not the best but and then follow my main page yanni.toli um what else yeah i think that's pretty much it you guys but let me know what you guys think in the comments about this video like, give me all kinds of feedback and all that. And, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.